wanted to talk about something that uh, I've been working on with a few uh, other therapists in the past year and kind of like a, a pattern that I've noticed. Um, if you are really trying to get uh, the most momentum out of starting your practice and a couple ways you can go about launching uh, so that it matches up with kind of like the vibe that you're going with um, and what will work best for you uh, at this point in time in your business. So it's, you know, really simple. There's basically two ways that we can launch our practice. There's kind of like, I call it more like the soft launch approach and then like the super launch or like hard launch, um, like a typical like launch style for a uh, online program or a product or something like that, you can kind of like slowly get into it or you can go all out and gain a ton of momentum um, in having an opening day. So the difference between the two, I would say, are people who might want to consider a soft launch for your practice or people who are looking for like just a couple of clients here and there. They're kind of wanting to like dip their toes into uh, the business world and the private practice world and they don't want to make like a huge deal about it. Um, you know, maybe because they're still working full time, part time, they have other things going on and they do want to be open, but they're not necessarily looking for like a huge influx of moment. Um, so soft launch basically looks like, you know, getting getting all of your ducks in a row, having all of your paperwork ready, you're ready to charge your clients, um, you're pretty much ready to go. Like I talk about in my mini course, Therapy Business Basics, you can like legally and officially start seeing clients and patients, um, but you're not going to like go all out and advertise. You're just going to like slowly start to talk to people about it and the patients will come when they come. Uh, so that's kind of like the soft launch approach that I have seen. And like I said, it might be good for people who just, they have a lot going on, <laughs> um, you know, and their, their practice is not necessarily like the primary focus of their life. Um, so that's soft launch. Uh, so let me know in the comments, go ahead and comment if that is something that you've done or you're considering to do um, and what you think about that approach. And then the other launch style, like big launch, super launch, a hard launch, however you want to call it, uh, is something that I have seen be really successful uh, as long as the business owner is willing to put in the work and put in kind of like the mileage <laughs> um, to make a big deal out of launching their practice. I've worked with a few clinicians over the past year now that do that kind of launch. They plan for a an opening day and they can spend uh, one to two months, you know, four to eight weeks uh, talking to people about their practice opening, gathering contact information of people to network with, they can start a wait list of patients. And uh, I've also had people um, go ahead and schedule <laughs> for the first week. Uh, and that I think is a really cool thing and really like confidence building. If you as a new practice owner are able to start your week, like your very first week in business with actual patients, um, you know, rather than waiting for them to come to you. Uh, so the way that this works, and let me know if this is of interest to you, and I can always go a little bit more into detail, but the way that this works is you will set your opening day, uh, whatever it is, I would suggest at least four weeks out, um, if not a little bit more, and then you'll kind of reverse engineer your promotion process and just think about like what information does your audience or your market need to know about your practice in order to um, create awareness, educate your community, um, and really get to know you as the business owner um, and what your like your company culture is like, how you plan to treat patients, what you trans plan to uh, treat patients for like different diagnoses, it gives you enough time to create like a buzz. And like I said, um, during the like minimum of four weeks that you have leading up to your opening day, you can create social media promotional uh, schedules. Um, and I've, I've done that before. And that has worked pretty well. I have kind of like a a script or a template of the different posts that I go through. You can do email marketing. 
uh, campaigning and kind of share like the same information that you are posting on social media and email. Um, and you have the opportunity to do outreach over the next month and really share with people in your community uh, that you're here, <laughs> you're planning to do um, a practice, a private practice and work with patients ASAP, but you've started a wait list and you are going to start seeing patients on X date. Um, so uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts are on these two different kind of like options of how to launch a practice and start. The way I see them is really kind of, like I said, like a soft launch and mega launch, like go all out um, to tell everybody you possibly can. Um, and the soft launch kind of starts whenever, basically like starts now. And you just kind of like slowly start to share it with people or like the hard, hard launch, like all out promotional piece. Um, you are going to set a, an opening day, um, and plan for that and really like get all the energy out there and get excited, have a wait list. Um, and go from there. So, and then I have a question here. Uh, how about a little bit of both since it's a side business? I think that's totally great, you know, and you could look at it even as an opportunity to kind of practice both versions um, and see which one works better for you. Um, I personally am more in favor of like the mega lunch <laughs> um, and putting a lot of energy into it because it makes me feel good um, to like share with people about like what I'm creating um, and how it's going to help people. And I really like to get like a lot of momentum going. And I've done several event launches in the past. And that is what I think worked best for myself. Um, but it does take a lot of energy. And so for you, if you're doing this as a side business, you know, maybe it's a little bit of a soft launch and you don't necessarily have like an opening day, but you spend a uh, time over like two to four to six weeks, uh, continuously and consistently posting about your business and that you're open and available to take clients. Uh, and then, like I said, you can kind of practice, test it out and see what you like about each approach. Um, and then the other cool thing that you can always do uh, that I might suggest doing like maybe two, maybe three times a year is you could always have a relaunch. Um, and it doesn't have to be like, grand opening or anything, but you could relaunch by having a an event. Like you could be doing a huge webinar or a huge community event or a race or something like that. And you can use the same uh, strategies as like just launching a practice as you can if you were doing some kind of event or just trying to create mo momentum again um, as you are moving forward. One tip that I have for you, you might already know this, but what I really like to do with social social media promotion is answer the who, what, why, when, where, how, and any objections that people might have um, all in your social media content so that your audience is really getting like a 360 degree view of what is going on and who it might be for, whether they should go to it, um, whether, you know, it's not for them, if they can think of anybody to pass along your information to really like to make it as comprehensive as possible. And I also want to make sure that I put all the information out there as much as I can. You could always start a wait list today. Um, and just let everybody know as you're talking to them that like, you know, hey, here's the potential start date. If you're interested, I'd love to get, you know, your contact information and I'll put you on the wait list so that, you know, when maybe we're like a week out from opening, um, I can reach out to you and get you on the schedule. And I think that that shows a lot of initiative um, on your part. And uh, I would say from personal experience, your patients and your clients are going to be really impressed with that. And it's going to leave a lasting impression. And uh, I hope that that helps a little bit and maybe gives you a little bit of direction. If you haven't quite started your practice yet, you know, maybe you've gotten your paperwork together, but haven't felt like you can make the leap just yet. Um, there are kind of two different avenues you could go down, whether, you know, you're kind 
kind of doing this as a little bit more of like a casual side thing, or um, you really want to go all out and leave it all on the floor, all in the field, um, and see see what you can do. And then one more question here: How do you create an email marketing list when you start out in a new area? Um, I think that's a really good question. I think you know one something that I, I teach my clients um, and where I would probably start to is just thinking of like what friends I might have, like coworkers, even colleagues, um, whatever information you have in the area, reaching out to anybody that you know, um, is a good place to start and kind of like sharing with them what you're trying to do. Um, you know, and you'd love their feedback and suggestions, but I guess like if I were to move somewhere and I didn't know anybody, I might start by thinking about uh, kind of like the niche that I'm wanting to treat in and looking up on Google um, what organizations or businesses around me uh, are places that like my ideal client would go to. So for me, CrossFit gyms, um, I might reach out to gyms around the area and uh, start like going to them, trying out the classes and seeing what gyms um, I resonate with, what gyms I like and the people are nice. And then I might set up a time with the owner or the coaches and just say like, hey, I'd love to pass along some information to uh, the athletes here, um, to like all the people who come to the gym. Um, you know, like honesty is a good policy. So I'd say like, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to start a business and I would just love to pass along, you know, like my free guides or whatever it is, just like free information. Um, you know, would you be open to like sending that out? Um, and you could always figure out a way to um, invite people to come onto your contact list, follow you on Instagram, um, join your Facebook group, uh, like point them towards wherever you can start having another conversation with them. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, yeah. And if anybody watching this has any other ideas, uh, I think that would be share. Um, okay. So uh, I think that will be it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and being here live. If you have any uh, burning questions, please leave them in the comments um, and I will work on scheduling them in for the upcoming weeks.